Flag is Steve to move. throw first. You can never write him Game off. on. Great competitor. Lots of experience in the Euro Tour. Game on. Yeah, plenty of experience. Plenty of titles as well, Mervyn King, including a European Tour event in 2014, 16. the European Darts Grand Prix. Interestingly enough, late last year, Mervyn King started using a new dart, something that didn't have the little swales in the barrel. Over the last few weeks, he's gone back to 100. the old ones. So the red and natural tungsten darts with a straight barrel that he had up until about a month ago. They've gone back in the practice room. And he's over here in Australia. 134. With the old style king darts. To great effect there. Down on that treble 19. Well, let's see if he gets him back to his best. One th 120. One he never stopped trying. He's got lots of desire. And we saw in the last match the experience. It's just a fabulous thing to have. Steve Beaton, what a classy display against Pinsel van der Voort. 42. This is pretty good from Westy. 140. This has turned out to be a pretty good match so far. Yeah, we see, we speak about the young players emerging through these exciting talents, but the likes of Steve 81. Beaton, Steve, you require 81. Terry Jenkins, Bill Taylor, of course who uh, will play the winner of this match, actually. All still got plenty of life 56. in them yet, as West misses Living a shot the bullseye. 145. I think it's very impressive that with all the talent that's coming through, these guys are still here, still winning matches. 65, Steve Lucar, 25. And they are there to be picked off, because the young players want to beat the players like Mervyn Kings and Taylors and Beatons. Westy's gone one for double 12. It's a lovely guide. He didn't use it. Remember, you require it was 80. A good guide and didn't use it. Will King get one dart or two at the double? One. Sorry, it's two. 48. But neither have found the target. Steve he likes to go 12. that way on 80, actually, Mervyn King, going the treble 16 route where most players would go for treble 20. Game shot on the first leg. See West. It's whatever Sang works. Like moving it didn't first. work on this occasion. Game he did on. the hard bit with the treble. I'll tell you what, you would usually back Merv to hit 32 with two dots in the hand. Yep, his favourite double. That's why he goes that way, despite 100. many people saying it's the wrong shot. Because if you hit the single 16, then you're on 64, so you've only got 14 for ball, really, if you don't 60. find a treble with a second dart. Knowing Merv as I do, I think he's more comfortable going for bullseye and double 16 than double top, so I think he's just playing to his strengths, and I think that's got to be applauded. 100! Whether people agree with him or whether they don't, he sticks to what he believes in, and that's Mervyn King to a T. Well, at least he knows which way he's going as well. He always 100. goes 100! Not only he knows, we know as well. Through years of watching him play, this is pretty useful. 140. Lovely straight dart. Yeah. 100. Mervyn, you require 161. Okay, look at this 161. Didn't get a shot at it. King 97. Has, uh, as we said before, has won many, many titles and uh, a former world master in 2004 the year before that actually Mervyn, you require 64 steve west brother tony won that particular tournament funny how things have come around isn't it it's got to go tops now 24 good effort steve you require 100 steve's got 101 to steal this could be a poor, important break 84 I would have left double 12. 85. Mervyn, you require 40. So the pressure's on this tops now. As we've mentioned, Merv's not a big fan of tops. But I secretly know he's pretty good at it. I just don't think he prefers it. So he just carried out some repairs on his dart. So let's see if he's fixed them. Oh, he certainly shot has. the second leg. Mervyn King. Nothing wrong Third leg with is Steve that. to throw first. Game on. 
little bit of inside information for you, Murph. Mervyn and I are both sponsored by the same company. We've gone through a process of analysis on what we're good at and what we're not good at. Mervyn was shocked to hear that he was one of the best in the world at tops. 49. Since then, I think he's hit it a lot more, purely because he's been told how good he is at it. Well, he demonstrated it just then. Maybe he will change his ways in future on the old 80 checkout. 57. I'm not holding my breath. No, I don't think so. He's been doing it for that long. I think it's something he'll stick with. One of the advocates of the earplugs on stage. 92. Whether there's five people or 5,000 in the crowd, I think it's a really good way for Mervyn to be zoned out. Whoa! Very handy from Steve West. 80. Both players in the zone now. 100. And Steve West himself has won several professional open tournaments. He reached a quarter final to the World Masters on two occasions. 100. What would you say is his biggest achievement in his career so far? Put me on the spot there, Paul. 140. King or West? Steve Lucar, 104. Fourth. Sixty-four leaves forty. Sixty-four. It's a positive effort. Mervyn, you require one hundred and twenty. Well, we talked about tops. He's going to get a shot at it. To the right. How good is he this time? There Here it is. Shot of the third leg. Proof some Mervyn King. King. Folks. Four he is Mervyn to throw first. Game on. Never misses tops, Mervyn King. Yeah, going back to your question about the the greatest achievement. One thing I would say is, Mervyn King has lost a few. PDC major titles, and I think um, that would be the crowning glory if he were to ever get that. But based 96. on prestige, perhaps his World Masters win in recent years, his win in, on the European Tour. But he's got so many to pick from, Mervyn King. You'd have to give anyone who asked that question a, a little bit more notice, I suppose. Yeah, I'll let you have a little bit more of a think about Steve, but I think the emotion that Mervyn showed when winning that World Masters himself 94 with his wife Tracy I think that was something that I will remember as a darts fan for the rest of my life it was, it was a great moment of course the man sitting next to me denied him one of those PDC titles now I'm not going to blow my own trumpet I shared a final with a close friend and we had a great game of darts 140 I think this is pretty even. 100. There you go. Yeah, 10 points in it, but King will become favourite after this visit, you'd think. 55. I really can't Steve call this at this 161. It's going to take a bit of brilliance from someone to really stretch their legs. That's a good dot. 95. Mervyn, you require 116. Good visit from West, leave 66. So Mervyn King to move two legs clear, wants 116. Needs a treble 20 now. Gets it. Double 18. 98. Steve, you require well, we know 66. We double 18. After that victory against Phil Taylor in the Premier League, the 66. Went for treble 10. 16 for tops. For 2-2. Two, two. 26. Mervyn, you require 18. Great okay. chance. He's got an option here to go straight for double nine or to split. Straight for double nine it is. Now can he clean it up? Ten scored. No, he can't. Steve, you require 40. So he's been let off for parity. It's double ten with a second dart. Game oh, shot on the fourth leg. Like. Steve West. It's like Fifth he threw that Steve knowing throw it first. was going in. Game on. Casual lob into the double ten bed from Steve West. Using the nickname Simply The at the moment. I think it means Simply The West. Uh, okay. 140. I thought his nickname was Gone. Or oh, John. I'm trying to nick your puns, Murph. I'm not as good at them as you are. I'll leave them to you. 24. 
I think this game's on a knife edge. I really can't call it. Yep, 2-2. Two, two. It's looking like 6-5. But long way to go before we get there. And the games so far this evening have been fairly comfortable wins throughout. Jamie Caven, Ron Moulinkamp, Josh Payne, Johnny Clayton and 41. Steve Beaton. Winning ties tonight. King and West battling it out for the chance to take on Taylor in the next round. 140. After his couple of year absence from the PDC European Tour. The power is back. If it's not bad enough that you've drawn one of your best mates in the tour. 140. Steve Ripa, 121. This leg belongs to Steve West. Single 14. 81. All that. Yeah, 12 darts thrown, double top left, and your opponent nowhere near. Steve West got to fancy his chances. 60. Steve Ripa, 40. He's taking control of this leg. Game is on throw. So he really should have won this leg anyway. Tens again. Game Tens shot on the fifth leg. Is. Steve West. Oh, loves double Six ten. Six leggy smooth in his row first. Game on. He'll want to leave it in every leg. Yeah, double ten on the end of his arm at the moment. Steve West. As he wrestles back the lead. 60. And Mervyn's been around for quite a long time now. 21 years, I think, since he really made an impression in the BDO. Approaching his late forties now. It's an impressive feat to be playing at the top of the game for over twenty years. Has he got a major title? One hundred and forty. PDC major title. I think as each season goes by, it gets harder. It's really hard to wrestle major titles away from the big guns these days, like Anderson, Van Gerwen, Taylor, still. Peter Wright, who's still gunning for titles. 81. And even people like Chizzy who are raising their game at the moment. It, it, it's getting harder. But the thing about Mervyn is that he's still doing a lot right. Wow. Wow. Steve West doing a lot right. Back to back 180s. Leaves 41. And on the verge of a break of throw to give him a 4 2 lead. 140. Well, asking if he can win Steve another major. 41. Will he be able to win this match at this rate? Well, obviously, he comes inside the top, so he can throw at 10. 31. This time, Mervyn, you require 80. Out. Mervyn King on 80. 80 again. And we know where he's going to go. Treble 16, folks. 73. Double 8. Beautiful. Game clean shot up on the Mervyn. sixth leg. Mervyn King. Ooh, seven leg he seems to throw first. Game on. A lovely smile. Great shot, my old friend. Well, he had two 180s in the leg and lost it. And when Mervyn King threw the first out of that combination in the seven, One and there's eight. another 180 from Steve West. He's certainly got his range at the moment. He's a very dangerous player, Steve West. I don't think people really know how good he is. Maybe it's time he proved it. He really can hit a lot of 180s. again. He's very relaxed up there. I'll give him that. One out of his intense character. Maybe playing Mervyn has just allowed him to relax a little bit. Like we said before, both players got champions pedigree. Steve 99. West, Denmark Open, Open champion twice. Perhaps that's his best achievement. Obviously, like playing in Europe. Obviously, Scandinavia. 99. Yeah, one in Finland as well. Will he win in Austria? He had a chance in the last leg, as we saw. Mervyn King picked his pocket. 100. Steve Ducroix, 82. 82. So he should look. Well, he may not have to look at the ball, but he does anyway. And double 16. Game Brilliant shot finish. on the seventh flag. Steve West. Steve West. Hey, flag is Mervyn to throw first. Game on. There was a puff of the cheeks from Merv in the background. Was that the heat on the stage, or was that. Oh, that was a good leg. Well, he hasn't let it affect him, has he? He hasn't let it affect chance going missing in the leg before. He's just got on with it, got off with a 180 in the next leg, finished 82, ball double 16. Very, very composed, assured performance, and here he goes again. 140! Almost. A barrage of treble 20s. Well, Dan and I were talking earlier on in the day, Murph, about how the first start is so important 100. for your confidence. 
Steve's first dart has been exceptional in this match. A look at his average in the first nine darts, uh, 117, 99 for the match. There's what another match on his fifth for the match. Is this is a five-star performance from Steve West. Absolutely, first dart in again. He's putting Merv under so much pressure. Only way to leave 170 finish. 92. Would have been a 60 with the third dart there. This is so impressive. 59. Well, not in a treble in that visit opens the door to Mervyn King again. Despite Slightly the ajar the door. Slightly ajar. 100. That's okay. Steve Ripar, 122. It's a one treble out shot. But will he get a shot at it? Yes, he will. 90. Mervyn Ripar, 110. Do you think this has to go? I think it has to. Treble 18. Westy's coming back for a 5-3 advantage. Well, he pinned double 16. Very, very cleanly 74. after hitting the ball in the last one. Steve Ducroix, 32. Can he do the same this time around? Lovely guide. Game yeah, shot on the A flag. Used it perfectly. Steve West. Ninth flag is Steve to throw first. Steve's Game on. in the driving seat. There's a confidence in his performance. Another great first Perfect. start. Perfect. One Perfect one dart from Steve West. 80. Six maximums. This is a fantastic performance. Probably, Paul, the best of the day. Just about to say that, Murph. Took the words right out of my mouth. Thoroughly agree with you. 96. Best performance of the day so far, but the game isn't over yet. It might be in a minute, though. 83. Yeah, that was a crucial final dart. Just keeps the momentum with himself. You can see there was just a little fist pump there just to say, okay, come on, let's do this. 60. I think if Merv was playing most of the other opponents, he probably would have been in the driving seat himself. 132. Can't recall a time where Steve West has averaged over 100. On 140. Steve Ricard, 106. Yeah, what a way to kickstart your season. They could finish the match here. Double top for a 106 checkout. And Game a 12 start to match. finish the match. Steve Fabulous West. performance from Steve West. Absolutely sensational. Performance of the day. Bar none. Well done, Steve West. A fantastic opponent in Mervyn King. And look what he's done to him with the 101.75 dot average. Really, really well done. Both still chums. Smiles on their faces. That's what we like to see. Both gentlemen and both champions. Yeah, we'll hear from Steve West in a moment. He goes through to face. Build the power tailor tomorrow. Back with more in a moment.